Hello and welcome to WePC. My name is Sarah and in this video I will be explaining the differences between an IPS and an LED monitor. It is important to know what screen technology is and what would be best for your gaming needs. There are many factors you may need to consider from resolution to panel and backlight technology. First off, let's take a look at what an IPS technology monitor is. IPS stands for in-plane switching and is a type of panel technology for LCD monitors. IPS monitors are characterized as having the best color accuracy and viewing angles, making them a great option for those who do more than just game. IPS monitors are generally the most expensive out of the different panel technologies for these added benefits. And now let's take a look into what an LED technology monitor is. LED stands for light emitting dodi and is a type of backlight technology with displays. This display technology utilizes LEDs to light up each pixel content. LED technology monitors offer a brighter display while consuming less power than others. LED monitors are often less expensive, feature a broader dimming range, generally considered quite reliable, feature a higher dynamic contrast ratio and are less impactful on the environment. Now, what are the key differences and areas in which IPS and LED monitors differ? IPS monitors are types of panel technology. LED monitors, on the other hand, are backlight technology. Although they differ in technology, both are compatible compatible enough to work together. LED and IPS monitors both use LCD, liquid crystal displays. Next we have power consumption. IPS monitors deliver specific quality images, which mean they need more power to keep up with all the on-screen activity. LED monitors may show brighter screens, but they actually consume less power compared to IPS monitors. On to response time, IPS used to be the slower out of the two, but now with technological advances, the top models have a response of 1ms, whereas LED monitors usually being favoured by competitive FPS players, with TN or VN panels feature low 1s response times. But with viewing angles and colour accuracy being worse, we see more and more competitive players moving to IPS as the technology is improving. Next we have display. From every angle, IPS monitors allow you to see the monitor from wide angles, 178 degrees to be exact, without seeing colour shifting. LED monitors may not have the advantages of wide viewing angles, but you can guarantee you'll get a brighter screen in all corners. Now we have image quality. IPS technology delivers clear and crisp images through their vibrant colours, alongside better colour consistency too. LED monitors tend to be poor at accurate reproduction of the colour black, but still have deep contrast. The viewing angles of an LED monitor will also be slightly poorer. Now we have heat. IPS monitors consume much more power, delivering clearer images, meaning they give off more heat than their LED monitor counterparts. Despite LED monitors featuring much brighter displays, they still boost a lower power consumption and lower heat output. On to price, IPS monitors are expensive across the board. Gamers find LCD LED monitors to be a great investment on a budget or for FPS titles. For those into single player AAA games or if you create content such as video edit or edit imagery, it is advisable you invest in the IPS monitor for the clear and crisp results you will get. So in conclusion, looking at the differences between the IPS and the LED type technologies, they are extremely hard to compare, but the IPS monitors do come out on top. For their multi-purpose, IPS monitors are perfect for graphical games, creating content, or for professionals that edit imagery and videos. The sharp image display and quality colours may be perfect for gaming, but it may not be worth it for the pure competitive FPS players, which may rather an LED display. 
So guys, thank you so much for watching. Please let us know down in the comments on which of these two monitors you prefer. Please give us a like and a subscribe and hit the notification bell while you're down there. And if you look over here, there's going to be a video that we know you'll enjoy. Thanks again.